start by creating a standard ad for our 728 by 90 National Offers Creative. For this ad, we'll use Summer Sale National Offers 728 by 90 as our name. We'll leave the ad type as in-page, since it will contain creatives that run within the publisher's site, rather than a pop-up banner, for example. Next, we'll tell DFA what size creatives will run through this ad by selecting the 728 by 90 dimensions from the drop-down. Under Delivery Properties, we'll set start and end dates that control when this ad will be eligible to run. Unlike the placement dates, the ad start and end dates do not default to the campaign end dates. We'll leave the start date as today's date, since this will allow publishers to view the contents of this ad when testing our ad tags and complete a full QA of Flash Creatives before the campaign's live date. The start date will auto-populate with today's date, and the end date will auto-populate 30 days from the campaign end date to allow for any make-good situations where the publisher fails to serve all of our impressions during the original run dates. We'll need to adjust the end date, however, because we don't want a limited time offer to run past its expiration date. Let's also select Hard Cutoff to signal that this ad should stop running at the end date and time. Because I can take the ad server time to update, we'll set the end time to 11.30 p.m., giving DFA 30 minutes for the hard cutoff to go into effect. <clears throat> Sometimes, we won't have our creative assets ready, so DFA doesn't require them in order to save an ad, but you can still set the delivery and targeting properties. Since we have our creatives ready, we'll associate them now. DFA pulls up a list of all creatives in this campaign that match the ad dimensions we set earlier. From this list, we can select up to 100 creatives to rotate against one another. We'll test the response rate of two different offers, so we'll select both and click Save. Now that our creatives have been associated with the ad, we can select the click-through by selecting the landing page we entered when we created the campaign. We also have the option of selecting a creative rotation method at the top right. Since we're testing these offers, we'll want our creatives to serve an equal number of times, so we'll leave the rotation as random. This means DFA will evenly distribute impressions across all creatives within an ad. Below the creative section, there are extra options, such as geo-targeting, time and day targeting, computer system targeting, remarketing, and targeting based on internet-related criteria. Our offers don't need any of these extras, so we'll leave these settings and click Save. <coughs> now we're ready to assign the ad to the placements we've created. Click Edit under the Placement Assignments column. This pulls up a list of all placements with the same dimensions as our ad and its creatives. We can assign our ad to all placements by clicking the Assign All button, or we can choose certain placements by clicking the radio button under Assigned for only the desired placements. We'll activate our ad by clicking the red Stop button. When we see the green light, we've activated the ad. This means it will be able to serve once its start date is reached and DFA gets a request from the publisher.